Hi guys. It is, wow, my voice cracked. It is Wednesday, um, January 8th. So today is my doctor's appointment. After Sean and John went to work, I was so tired. I went right back to bed. Ended up waking up at 1030. <laughs> and now it's like 1130 something. Um, but uh, I got to get ready to go. We're leaving around 12 and I have to eat something. No yoga today. No yoga today, but I showered and dressed, and um, I need to eat something. But my sugar was high in the middle of the night. I actually went to bed at 110. Right now it's 151. Um, I went to sh bed, and my blood sugar was 110. And then uh, I don't know what time it was when I woke up in the morning, and then it was like 314. And yesterday I had the penny ala vodka with the chicken, Sometimes I know the cream sauce and sometimes the, the skin on the chicken does it to me. I could go to bed a great number and then it's while I'm sleeping. Um, that's when the skin, the fat, um, and the cream, um, goes up. So, uh, I didn't plan on that one. I didn't prep for it. So it went up to 314, and then when I woke up this morning at 6 to send Sean to school, it was 257. I was like, what? After giving insulin. And now at 1130, it's 151. So I'm going to have to ixnay on the fruit. These still aren't that ripe, though. But I had that mango, and I ate all the persimmons. Oh, my God, that was so good. So I definitely want to go get more of that. Um... I think I'm going to take an apple with me. Um, but right now, I guess so that I'm not crashing, because I definitely have to eat something, and we're leaving at 12. Um, I guess I'll just have, like, some protein. So that'll be either cheese or peanut butter. But I'll take this with me um, in case I get hungry. And, yeah, I'm going to have to find something to eat. Got my Kona Mocha green tea. Yeah. Oh, let me show you. So we took Christmas all down. So I'm going to see if I can insert the picture. But um, I had started little by little after Christmas taking a lot of the tchotchkes away and stuff like that. And then finally after New Year, we took down the rest of Christmas here, but we had left the tree that was there for um, Three Kings Day, which was um, the 6th on Monday. So when there was one tree left, I'm going to try to insert the picture, but all the cats were underneath. Like, oh, they're protesting. They don't want the last tree to go. And they they stayed there all day. It was hysterical. But then finally, yeah, uh, yesterday, um, it came down, and cats weren't very happy about it. But, yeah, this is now back to normal. We got the winter pillows out because we do have some teal pillows, but I think they're in with the spring decor. So right now it's winter, silver and white. Um, but yeah, nothing up. I got this candle from Fab Fit Fun. Oops, sorry. It smells, I don't know how John does it. I'm going to break it. It's a nice container. I want to save the container and it has like a powdery smell. So we stuck that in there after the pine one was done. And then, yeah, all the decorations gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. And I love my nook. So, yeah, that's it for today. I'll let you know how the doctor goes later. And tonight for dinner, oh, I should have, no, I think I don't have to pull it out. So we're going to make the breaded tilapia from Costco. Michael has to work and he doesn't like tilapia. So the breaded tilapia from Costco and I'm going to make some white rice in my ancient rice cooker that works like a charm and uh, works better than my whirlpool pool oven that's for sure um and i'm going to make i have i took it out and i put it in the refrigerator the pink beans so i'm gonna make pink beans and put some pumpkin in it oh 
because I have a lot of pumpkin in my freezer. Um, so that's going to be for dinner tonight. So I'll show you that when that comes. But otherwise, I got to go. I got to find something to eat and then on my way to Nashville. So I think I'm going to settle on a spoonful of peanut butter. Which it's almost gone. I have it on the list. I have to get that. And then I'm going to eat these. This is the white cheddar with the almonds and cranberries. And I had just looked it up. Total grams of carbohydrates is 11. So low in carbs. That has a little bit of carbs. So probably like 15 grams total, which is good. And then it's the protein, so it'll satiate me. And I don't need that much insulin. Um, because of all the protein, my sugar won't spike up even more. Chances are I have to change the, the pump. Um, I think this is my last day and I have to change it anyway. I don't know if I want to change it before I go. Um, I think I have some time. So I might do that because sometimes when you're at the end of the two to three days of wearing the pump, the insulin, especially since I keep it in my pocket, at um in my shoes I keep it in my pocket at um you know and it's against your body your body warms up the insulin so by day two and three it's not as effective and you do notice higher sugars um so then I'm going to change it so I think I'm going to do that I'm going to change it before I go but I'm going to eat the protein meal and then I'm going to take the apple and I'm going to take one of these perfect bars I'm going to put that in my bag Yep, and then off we go. So we're on our way. Matt had to get gas. Um, he wanted to leave early so we could get gas, so I did not finish my breakfast. Uh, but I did have the peanut butter. So for peanut butter, it's about 190 calories for two tablespoons, which is all fat, very low carbs. Um, so that's obviously something that's going to fill your stomach and make you feel like you ate something, but it doesn't impact your blood sugar right away. But you do have to be careful because later on, three hours later, your sugar might go up, two to three hours later, because it is p uh, protein and fat. So it's something that does satiate you. I love peanut butter, but you do not want to go over the two tablespoons. Um, any more than that, because two tablespoons has 190 calories, so that's well over a snack calorie amount. Um, any more than that, you are really gonna shoot high uh, later on in the day. So we don't want that, but I'm gonna eat this, and then that will keep me until I get back home, which my appointment's at 1.30, so when I get back home, Probably, I don't know if I'll be hungry because these fill me up and the peanut butter fill me up pretty good, especially peanut butter, but I love peanut butter. Maybe I'll just have the apple. I did change my pump, so fresh insulin, so that should be good. I have my Kona Mocha, the rest of it in my container, and off we go to Nashville now. So tonight's dinner is breaded tilapia with Puerto Rican pink beans. Actually, I think those are small red kidney beans, but I'm adding some pumpkin. So this is from Jack-O-Lantern. And uh, I'm add some pumpkin. It gives a nice little sweetness to it. I enjoy it. So those pink beans were already made. I had them freezing in the freezer in one of those um, Chinese soup quart containers. So I thawed that out last night, heating that up. And then I have some white rice in the ancient rice cooker and broccoli on the side. And that is dinner tonight. Sorry about that. Here's my half eaten plate. So I got the right white rice with the Puerto Rican beans and there's pumpkin in it and it's so good. Then I got some of the breaded fish and then for the boys, I made broccoli, but these are my collard greens with the garlic, the nutritional yeast, and the pepper. Love it. But that is dinner tonight. Good morning, guys. Doing my morning yoga with Adrian. 
with Athena. And there's Celine. I'm telling you, it's hysterical. She loves yoga with Adrian. Right, you do? Good job, Celine. She's so funny. So today is January 9th. Um, gonna finish my yoga. I have my green tea with me, Kona Mocha. And I'll tell you all about yesterday at the doctor's office. Hey guys. So I finished my yoga. Uh, I'm still drinking my Kona Mocha today. It was going a little slower than usual. And I do have to eat something. Bam. Look at that in the blue line all night. That excites me. So since it is low, well, not low, but, you know, yesterday it was like 151 or whatever, and I couldn't eat fruit. 84, I can eat some fruit. Um, so I'm going to have some pineapple and mix it with some pomegranate. So I'm going to do that first. And then I have a little leftover scallop potatoes. So I'll eat that after, maybe like half hour after or 45 minutes after I have the fruit. Because today we're waiting for Matthew to get out of work. Me and Michael, we have to go to the post office because they have to get their passports. Um, even though they've had passports already because they were issued before the age of 16, they have to apply for passports as if it's brand new. So they have to show up. So we have an appointment with the post office and everything like that. So we're doing that today. Um, and then I think because we're going to that area, uh, there's a target there. I got no more peanut butter. So I actually do sometimes just eat this out of the spoon uh, instead of making a sandwich. Um, growing up, I went to a diabetic camp when I was a you know kid and a teenager and into my early adulthood. I was working there as well. We got very used to peanut butter sandwiches for snacks um, or also to treat lows, but I don't use the bread because then I noticed when I was younger, I noticed I just go higher after you treat it with some juice and then eat a peanut butter sandwich. So when I'm low sometimes, I'll treat it with four ounces of orange juice and then um, two tablespoons of peanut butter to kind of keep me there, depending on the day and the situation and what time it is and, you know, what the activity or food is. And like I, yesterday, sometimes I just want some protein so I'm not starving because when you're starving, of course, you tend to shove everything in your mouth. So I'll go for the two tablespoons of peanut butter and that completely satiates me without raising my blood sugars too high. Um, I would have loved peanut butter today because I do love peanut butter, but there is no more. And that's pretty much the only brand I'll eat. Eh, you know what? I have had the natural Jif. I will settle for natural Jif, but I love natural peanut Peter Pan. It's not, it's made with no high fructose corn, corn syrup. But for today, I am going to start with some fruit, eat some um, scallop potatoes, and then that is the remainder of that Tuscan mac and chicken. So I think I'm going to put it in some grab and goes for the boys to pull out, you know, take to work because um, I really have to clean out this refrigerator. There's quite a lot of containers so I'm going to see what's there. But after the post office, I do want to hit Target. There's a shirt that I wanted in there too. So I think I'm going to pick that up for myself. And I have to do some bank stuff. So that's today. Um, yeah. And then let me tell you how the doctor went yesterday. My bowl, bowl of fruit is a little teeny tiny thing. Um, I got five chunks of pineapples with like, two spoonfuls of, um, of pomegranate seeds. And I'm probably going to have to give like three units of insulin for that because now I'm back on prednisone. Um, let me flip this. Hey, okay. It's pretty sunny in here, but um, you can see it's really swollen. <clears throat> so about the doctor yesterday. Um, so I went to the doctor, the strabismus doctor, and he's the one that will 
um, correct the muscles, especially on my left eye, although both eyes do have to get corrected. And he'll bring my eye back to midline since it's pulled inward. The thyroid eye disease really affects the inner muscles and the lower muscles of the eye. And um, it just pulls the eye in and down. So that's what happened with my left eye when it got decompressed. So he said that uh, they're not going to get any better. Um, and if anything, it, I got more crossed. Uh, so I think it started pulling my right eye. And even though the decompression of December 4th made room for it, it's not enough. So when I got off the prednisone, the swelling started coming back. So my eye was tearing like a bitch yesterday. So he said, you need to control that. So unfortunately, that means I have to get back on prednisone. It gives me those freaking puppy cheeks. Anyway, um, so I have to get back on prednisone to try to calm down the swelling. The swelling's not as bad as it was before the December 4th surgery, but... It's still bad. So, uh, but good news is that I can proceed with the surgery and get my two eyes back. So the surgery is scheduled for January 31st. Um, yeah, kind of sucks what I'm going through. But my mom was talking to her teacher. So she goes to, I guess, these classes um, of mediums in the Hispanic culture, so they only speak Spanish. But she said she was talking to her teacher about me and my condition, and he, oh, my eyes tearing, and he suggested, recommended that I get distilled water and boil it with three chunks of peeled ginger root, which I have ginger root, but I need to get distilled water. And when that cools um, every day, take a cotton ball and kinda dab and clean my, around my eye area um, with the ginger tea um so it's supposed to help so i am going to do that um so i have to get distilled water um we are going to the post office um in columbia to try to get these passports done we have an appointment and then um since we're in that area we're gonna hit target over there and there's a shirt that i want but i'm gonna look for distilled water i want to get my peter pan uh natural peanut butter creamy and um, I'm going to see if they have organic ketchup because we're running low and I'm not going to Trader Joe's until next week. If they don't have the distilled water, then tomorrow I'm going to go to Whole Foods. Um, but dinner tonight, uh, John's been wanting some real Chinese food. So I think we're going to order Chinese food and pick it up to bring back home. And our regulars are vegetable egg food young. Me and John like that. Um, chicken and broccoli and General Sow's. So General Sow's chicken, Matthew and Sh uh, John really like that. And then um, me, Michael and Sean like to eat the chicken and broccoli. But I'm in the mood for some lo mein, so I think I'm gonna get some vegetable uh, lo mein to go with that. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna, like I said, pick that up. And that'll be dinner tonight, because I have no idea what time we're going to get back. We're going to be hitting rush hour and all that stuff. All that fun stuff. Hopefully, the appointment goes really quick. But if not, um, yeah. So I'll take you with me. Michael is making himself some lunch now before we go. Matthew is not back yet. But he pulled out some of the rotisserie chicken. That was the second one I have in there heated up some of the meat. He got the naan bread, the tzatziki sauce, the Costco. That's, you're the first one to open it, right? Uh, the, the tzatziki sauce? Yeah. Yep. Yep. And you got feta and some lettuce. Yep. This is going to be a big wrap. Yeah, the naan bread is pretty thick. But so are the pitas they use when we go to the restaurant. Yeah, I found it. Mm-hmm. They're a little thicker than the wraps, than the tortilla wraps. Yeah, the feta. You need a spoon or no? Yeah, I need a spoon. Okay. Feta's good. I think feta's made with sheep's milk, too. It's also really strong, uh, the feta. It is a strong... Well, if you think about that's it... Why, that, that's why there isn't that much. I, I don't want to overpower. It, yes, it's strong. And uh, if you think about it, Pecorino Romano, which is also made with sheep's milk, tends to have a stronger, a strong flavor as well. Those sheep are on something else. <laughs> yeah, well. Well. 
There you go. Tzatziki wrap. You're not going to be able to close that. Yes, like a tzatziki wrap. Like a taco. <laughs> yes, like a tzatziki wrap. Yeah. All right. Perfect. It's called, well, with chicken, I think it's souvlaki. And with the. Okay, then I have a with souvlaki. The, with the lamb, it's called a gyro or a euro. But yeah, that's Michael's lunch. Is he back? Yeah. Is back. And look what he brought in with him. <laughs> Packages. Let me open them. I got Costco. I got Arbon. Thread up. But I don't know what that is. Don't know what it is. So last time I went to Costco, I was asking them about this because they used to sell it. And these are Eco Drink. Do I have it upside down? Yes. Eco Drink, which is a vitamin and mineral, multivitamin drink mix. I am, I am a drinker. Um, I like to stay hydrated. And I like the green tea and all its health benefits. And... So I, they used to sample these, and so I missed it. I used to buy them a long time ago, and I like that a lot of the ingredients, you know, are natural and stuff like that. So I'd rather drink my vitamins. So um, I bought these. This one is the, what is it, the berry? And this, well, I have my glasses right here. I'll put them on. Um, this one I think is the berry. I don't even know where it says it, but you see the berries there. I know one is mango peach. Here it is. Mango peach. So they were on sale. So they're usually, and this one is the pomegranate blueberry. Ooh, I'm going to like this one. This one I've never tried before. And actually, the pomegranate peach I never tried before. They used to only do berry and orange. Orange isn't too bad, but I'm a berry flavor person. Anyway, um, they were $20.99, and they were on sale $4 off, so you get them $16.99. Um, yeah, so I bought three. I don't know how long they're going to continue it, and it was only online, so I had to get it online. So then thread up. Let me see what that is. For thread up, I had gotten their bag to clean out my closet. It wasn't really my closet. It was Sean's closet. He had some name brand stuff, you know, like um, Levi jeans and Old Navy stuff and um, some H&M. So they actually, they, they like those brands better than just generic. So I sent those in and I had gotten some credit. So I got this. I think it's Zara. If I remember correctly, I don't remember how much, maybe 20 bucks or so. Nah, maybe not even 20 bucks. I think it was like, like 13 or something like that. Um, I don't remember the company. I want to say it's Zara. Ah, here it is. Yep. Zara basic. And these are pleated leopard print maxi and their pants. I'm, where's the separation? Come on. I think they're pants. It's not a maxi skirt. I remember that. Yep, there they go. Pants. Isn't that, isn't that cute? I'm going to be styling and profiling. Wear this with a little white tank top and a pair of flip-flops and sandals, black sandals, and I am good for the summer. So they're pants. So cute. So I got that. And now I got it. Check it. This is, this is my fiber. I know the Arbon is my fiber. I ordered that on an auto ship. That was my fiber. So, yep, I'm going to drink it with my vitamin. Although I'm not going to drink it on my way to the post office in Columbia because I haven't had this probably in a week in my system. So you don't want it to kick in when you're not home. So I'm not going to do that. But I'm so glad I have my fiber back. I love the effects of the fiber on my body. It keeps me regular as well as blood sugars in control. Love it. This last one was a mistake. I had purchased balsamic blueberry oil, vinegar and lemon oil from the Urban Market to go to my aunt in New York, and they freaking sent it to me. I picked different than shipping. Oh, my God. Now i got to call them. Ridiculous. Anyway, 
Ah, oh, now I'm frustrated. Anyway, got to go to Columbia. Yeah, I think that was $13.99, those pants. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try. I think I'm going to do the blueberry pomegranate first. going to take that on my way to Columbia, and we're all set. Let me just clean up, and we got to go. So we're in the car going to Columbia for um, their passports. And I have the pomegranate blueberry eco drink multivitamin in here. It is so good. I really, really like it. I think it tastes just like the berry one. Oh, if I remember, it's been a long time. I'm pretty sure they have similar flavors since they're both berries, but I love the berry flavor. So I, I really like it. Getting my boosted vitamins this way. Um, I did call Urban Market regarding the balsamic and the lemon oil. Here, let me give you something to look at instead. Yeah, so I did call Urban Market regarding the package that's supposed to go to my aunt, and they said that they will ship it. So I have to return that box to the Urban Market and they will ship it themselves because if I ship it, last time it broke, so I don't wanna have to do that again. I'd rather have them ship it because if it doesn't make it there, at least they'll replace it, so. One more thing we have to do, so maybe we'll do it tomorrow. But that's about it. Um, yeah, Columbia is a lot of land. Um, some areas are commercialized, but it is a lot of land. We don't go there that often. Um, obviously, the hot spots are Nashville and Franklin and Brentwood. Um, but yeah, we'll be there 30 minutes, GPS. So we did the post office where the boys are getting their passports. Canada, here they come. Woo. Woo. And then we went to Target and I found the large size of the Peter Pan natural creamy peanut butter. And then we bought them Skippy um, chunky natural peanut butter because Peter Pan doesn't make the natural peanut butter in chunky form. And now we're going to get Chinese food. So we go to the Great Wall over here. Um, we used to go to another one and then they changed their egg rolls and now they suck so we went to great wall and their egg rolls are a little decent a little better so now we're starting to go to great wall so we're picking up chinese food for dinner and that's pretty much it for the rest of the night not much else going on there's the peanut butter yeah i don't know why the peanut pan one does not make it in chunky i used to find it and now i don't find it anymore I like Peter Pan. I pretty much grew up on it. That's why I refuse to change. Um, and then this was the organic ketchup that they had. So until I go to Trader Joe's, that will have to do. Then we got the Chinese food. Oh, my God, it smells so good. And I always save these containers. Um, I think these containers are getting smaller, too. Yeah, but this is what we're left with, or we have to settle for the Chinese food here in Tennessee not that great but like I said one place they made egg rolls they changed when they changed the egg rolls they were so bad that we took a bite and we threw them out that's how bad they were horrible and then here's the distilled water so I am going to make that ginger concoction tincture to start putting it on my eyes like I said I'll do anything um yeah, I already take selenium and, you know, I've been eating more fruits and I already eat CSA organic vegetables and I buy organic and blah, 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 blah. I even tried gluten free, but it's not really doing the trick for me. I guess it was just hormone related anyway. So when John gets home, we'll eat dinner and that would be it for the night and me and Matt do have a busy day tomorrow, so I'll film that as well. They're waiting for the treats. And <laughs> before I go, just want to see what my blood sugar is. 81. Look at that. It stayed in the blue. Didn't really eat much. Like I said, I'm on prednisone, so I tend to eat a little less. But I am hungry, so I think it's still early enough. It's not dinner time yet. But to carry me over, did I put any in here? No, I didn't. Oh, I do have an apple. I don't even know the apple was in here. 
I think I'll have the apple. That's what I'll do. Ooh, it's cold though. I was gonna eat those little cheese things with the nuts and the fruit, but I think I'm gonna do the apple because it has the extra fiber in it. Um, yeah, and then, like I said, it's still early. John should be walking in the door any minute. minute. He tends to like to eat dinner early, but it might be too early to eat that. We'll see, but I'll see you tomorrow. So I cut up and peeled ginger, about three chunks. She said three. And then here's my distilled water. Ooh, I got no. All right, I'll pour some in and start the fire. He didn't say how much water to put. Um, but obviously, since you're putting it on a cotton ball and dabbing it around your eyes, um, I guess it'll last a while. So, yeah distilled water, and ginger. Hey, and if you guys know of any other remedies for thyroid eye disease, swollen eyes, um, swollen muscles, healthy eyes, let me know, because I'll try it. There's dinner tonight. Got a whole bunch of fortune cookies, um, chicken and broccoli, vegetable egg foo young, gravy for vegetable egg for young two orders of general Tso's chicken and vegetable lo mein i forgot the wonton soup which i've heard all the complaints already and chicken on a stick so next time that'll be in the order but yeah that is dinner tonight oh and the egg rolls they're tiny i remember when egg rolls were like a dollar and they were twice the size and now they're god knows how much twice they were, trust yeah, me. Yeah, yep. they were. When I was seven, they were twice the size. Anyway, that's dinner tonight. Yeah. So me and Matt are at Rick's Fire Oven Pizza getting some lunch. Today is Friday, January 10th. Four by two and a half. So I got just a regular cheese. Matthew got the four by four, which is really four by two and a half. Um, it was light on goat cheese and no gouda. Yeah, light on the goat cheese, no gouda, but it has mozzarella and what was the other cheese? I don't remember. I think Parmesan. I, well, I mean, there's Parmesan on it now, but I don't know about before. I think, I think it was mozzarella, Parmesan, gouda, and goat. Oh, okay, two and three quarters. So you got, yeah. And then it's prosciutto, pepperoni, sausage, and what's the fourth bacon. meat? Oh, and bacon. <laughs> Looks good. This is Bricks Top. This has the fire. Oh, this is Bricks. Wood fire pizza. So someone told us that there was wood fire pizza and it was something with brick, but we went to the wrong one. So we ended up going there thinking they had brick oven pizza and they didn't. It was so fancy. Everyone was in business attire. And we actually sat down to order and we noticed the menu didn't have brick oven pizza. So we had to walk 150 feet to Bricks where the pizza was, but we actually left the table. <laughs> Pretty funny, first time I ever did that. So today was a busy day. Me and Matthew did a lot of errands. And so he has a really small Whole Foods. Um, and I also went to Urban Market, so I'll show you that. And then when we got home, I had something from Thread Up. So that's, I ordered two things from Thread Up from that um, uh, credit that I had from selling them my stuff. But I wanted to show you this. Look at the size of this aloe leaf. So I bought this aloe leaf. Last time we saw it, look at the size compared to my aloe plant. Holy crap. Um... So my son's like, why are you getting it? So the slimy stuff, when you cut into it, the gel is good for the skin. And since Sean is 13 and he's starting to get acne, my baby's growing up, um, that slimy gel would be good for his skin. So I'm going to try to get some of that out in a little jar. But then the clear pulp, so the thick, solid part of it, when you um, soak it in water to remove uh, the gel and any other some of the gel of it. Um, so you're supposed to soak it, throw out the water, soak it again to really get out um, 
that jelly consistency, that solid pulp part is great for digestion. It's great for your intestinal tract. Um, you could cut it up into cubes and freeze it, which I'll link a, li a video below of someone that I saw do that. And you could uh, put it in your smoothies. Um, so it's really, it's really good uh, for your intestinal tract. And then, which I think in my last Whole Foods video, I actually posted um, an article on benefits of aloe. Then I got some organic gala apples because I needed fresh fruit. And I was so upset they did not have persimmons anymore. I was so upset. That's like really the reason why I went. And then so I got red pears instead. John wanted some bananas. I picked up three bananas. Um, and then I got three green apples because I keep promising Matthew I'm going to make him some apple pie. And that mango I got last time was so good, so I picked up two mangoes. And then they have these cookies that you could buy by the pound. Matthew loves the apricot butter cookies, so I got him some of those. Those are in there. And then Michael liked the Stroop waffles, so I got some Stroop waffles. So I did that for them. So that's that's Whole Foods. And then Urban Market. Uh, I returned that box to Urban Market that they were supposed to send to my aunt, and they sent it to me instead. So they took that, and they're going to mail it again. But I picked up some shea butter. I picked up some cocoa butter, which did not. they did not have this in... Whole food, so they did have it in Urban Market. And I picked up Africa Secret. Now, when, and it's shea butter and cocoa, coconut oil. When I um, developed this rash, and it was a horrible rash, which ignited and started off the whole thyroid Graves disease, um, I bought this from, hmm. I think I bought it from Sprouts and shea butter, coconut oil, beeswax, hemp. What else is in there? Get a little larger. Neem oil, which is great for skin. African honey. Ba baobab oil, which baobab, I believe, has tons of antioxidants, especially vitamin C. Um, sesame oil, royal, royal jelly, bee pollen, and bee propolis, which is supposed to be excellent. So this stuff worked great on my skin. And then they didn't have it anymore. So Africa Secret. And I remembered some of the ingredients, not all of them. So I actually tried making my own. So I made mine with cocoa butter, beeswax, which I already have, some shea butter. I put coconut oil. Um, I also put some organic olive oil to really make it more emollient and spreadable. Um, and I melted that down. I don't have any ratios for that. Um, it was just by trial and error, what mixed and what didn't. Um, and then I would put essential oil. So I would put lavender, which calms the skin. I had put frankincense, which is good for cellular health. And helichrysum, which I heard, if I'm saying that right, helichrysum. Um, <laughs> which I heard is great for skin and like, yeah, skin conditions. They also said like skin cancer and stuff like that. So I actually make my own, but now in Urban Market, I am so glad I found this because now I can see that there's way more ingredients that I don't, I did not put in, but it's such, it's, this was $14.99. It is expensive and it's not a big jar and I would put I would slather this on with a spackle um, when I had that rash. So I'm so glad I found it. And then Urban Market is also known for their oils and vinegars. This time I bought cranberry pear white balsamic vinegar. And I bought cara cara orange and vanilla white balsamic vinegar. Um, not only would it taste great on a salad, drizzled on a salad, but I love to put this on ice with some water. And if you want it like a soda, like a seltzer, put some sparkling water. Um, it is so good. They make all these themselves. Like I said, it's a, I should have done video in there. I am so sorry. It's not a big store, but they have these vats of oil. 
Um, I'll see if I could put a picture and you can actually sample everything. So it's so funny. I was with Matthew and he's like, you're going to drink it just like that. So I took a shot. So good. So this one tastes like a uh, creamsicle, which I think I'm going to make right now. So I'm so excited that I found this. Um, sometimes they have so many flavors, unless you have a lot of time to really look at everything. Uh, you could be there for quite a while. And then with the remaining of my credit, I got this. Let me put it on pause. I got two things I forgot. So this one, I believe is by Free People. This one's a romper. Oh, it's a, it's really a one piece. Somehow it's attached, but it's the shorts. Move over. It's the shorts. They were having a big clearance sale too. So this is, all right, let me figure out how this goes. There it goes. So that's the shorts. So it's the shorts with a top. So they're attached in the back. So it's like a two piece, but not really a two piece. So that was from Free People. I forgot how much that cost. I wanna say that was like 12 bucks. Like I said, they were having a big clearance. So I thought this was cute and um, I think it's linen. I don't remember. Um, and then this one definitely is linen. That one I remember. Um, and this is a midi dress. I'm going to have to iron it. A spaghetti strap. Almost denim-like, but it's not denim. It's um, linen, which is very cooling and comfortable uh, for the summer. And it is hot here in the summer. So I wanted to get more linen things. So I, I did buy other things from Thread Up that was linen. I bought a skirt before and I bought a top, um, a short sleeve shirt that's all linen. And I have some linen pants from other companies, which I lived in in the spring and summer. Um, but now I have this little cute dress that I thought was so cute. Almost looks like denim, but it's not. So, yeah, so I got that with my credits. But, yeah, this is, like I said, a little Whole Foods and a little Urban Market um, for dinner. Oh, and also from Whole Foods, which I put away because they were starting to thaw out. I finally, I finally found peas. So I bought peas. So tonight's dinner is going to be pasta carbonara. I have ham here, the left of that Christmas ham thawing out. Um, so I have the ham, and then I add the peas and mushrooms. Oops, mushrooms I had gotten from Costco. Uh, now the peas, Christmas ham. I don't know if it's going to be bucatini or like a penne. And then I make the Alfredo sauce, and it all cooks together. So that's what's for dinner tonight. And... Um, that's it for the day. Sean's at orchestra practice, and John comes home and work in another hour to an hour and a half. I'm going to put all this away and finally sit down, because we went all over the place. I had to go to my eye doctor appointment and to get medical records. Um, let me switch. I had to go to the eye doctor and get my medical records, and then we went to Urban Market. We went to Whole Foods, and um, what else? Oh. And I had to go to the Music and Art Center to return Sean's um, viola, which was too small, so he needed the next size, which was unsuccessful because I have to bring him with me to um, get measured. So that's going to be another day. But um, we have a busy week next week as well, so I'm going to take you with me next week. But I think, um, yeah, I don't think I'll post this after today, so maybe you'll see it tonight. Yay. There. Look like that Teletubby. It's kind of humid out there. <laughs> so here is my drink. So I'm not gonna put the fiber in this one. I'll put that in something else. I only had one scoop of fiber so far this morning, but I filled my glass with ice and I think I'm gonna do the Cara Cara Orange. I had these spouts. You could buy these spouts they sell that one's a little twisted. These spouts they sell at the urban market. There you go. Uh, so that one's the cranberry pear.
but I want the orange vanilla. So it's like a creamsicle. And this spout, I have no idea where I got it from, but it fit. So I'm just gonna pour like two tablespoons, I guess, and fill the rest with water. Bear with me, one eye, one hand. And it does, I mean, you do get like a vinegar taste, but obviously the concentration of flavors that they put, like the orange, the fruity flavors, they come out so sweet. And with the vinegar, it's almost like a kombucha because kombucha is that fermented tea. So it has that vinegar taste, just like sourdough. It has that alcoholy vinegar taste. So supposedly filled with polyphenols. Oh my God. So you do get that little bite of vinegar, but you taste the orange vanilla. I love it. Yeah, I'm weird that way. So can't wait to try the cranberry pear. So I was thinking, since I didn't know you're supposed to do something for 1,000 subscribers, um, I was thinking uh, now that we went over 2,000 subscribers, and unfortunately I went over 2,000 subscribers, I think right before the holidays. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, I can't do this right now. But now that it's the new year, 2020, and of course my 2020 clear vision manifestations for the new year, uh, double reasons, well, you know, vision. Um, anyway, I was thinking about doing a giveaway for, I guess maybe in February, um, I'm going to start working on that. So I was thinking about a either, um, $30. This is like $24 right here, $25, um, urban market oil vinegar sample. Um, and I do have different flavors and combinations that I like that someone can choose from. Or B, um, Savory Spice Shop, some of my favorite spice blends. Or C, Trader Joe products. I have so much to think about. Um, give me your comments below what you think about that. I'm going to do it in February, maybe kind of John's birthday because that's February and like I said, it's away from the holidays and I am having my surgery on January 31st. So it is tough because yeah, I had my other surgery on December 4th. I'm going to have this next one, January 31st. So somehow I want to work in this giveaway. Um, definitely want to do it soon. So tell me what you think and I'll try to plan on how to do this and when to do it. Um, but I thought it'd be great because you guys are awesome. I love chatting with you on the comments and I'm learning so much from you guys too. So I thought a giveaway would be nice to celebrate the 2000 subscribers. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment, but I'm going to finish this drink. John's going to be home in an hour or so. He has to drop off my car to get tires. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm just going to go through the mail and just chill and enjoy my drink before everyone's back home. I follow. You better be careful. That's the box that the Chinese food came in. in. You better be careful in that box. Look how cute he is. He got, he got baby face. He's the biggest one here, and he got baby face. Right, Paolo? It's really a Paolo, but I just call him Paolo.